going on guys, Double R here, back again today with another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix a stuck clutch pedal. Today, we got my 2003 350Z. It has a CD009 six-speed manual transmission and it has about 16k miles on it it has a stage 3 clutch with a 17 pound flywheel and uh, our clutch pedal is stuck to the floor so i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and fix that this should be almost universal to any external slave i'll show you guys how to bleed the fluid properly and so that way we can come back and have the correct amount of pressure in our clutch pedal again so you really don't need much to be able to do this job it's really just a 12 millimeter it's gonna be your clutch slave. Uh, preferably, if you can get one, they are very cheap. Just get a brake bleeder, that way you're not making a mess. And some DOT4 brake fluid. Make sure it's a high temperature brake fluid. Uh, this is what we're gonna be using to replace the old fluid that's in there because that's how you correctly bleed the system, is you get out all the old fluid and fill it up with new ones. All right, so first things first, we're gonna check our clutch fluid. So it's right under, usually it's around the driver side area of the engine bay. And in the 350Z specifically, it's gonna be under what says brake fluid. So we're just gonna lift this little plastic lid and your clutch fluid is actually gonna be right here. So we'll check and if nothing's leaked out, that means our master cylinder is pretty much okay because there's no cracks in this uh, master cylinder reservoir and uh, this, this hose seems to be fine. So what's letting me know is a clutch slave error is uh, the fact that there's a lot of fluid in here and there's no pressure leak. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go under the car and we're gonna look at the clutch sleeve cylinder. So it's not necessary really to have a lift in this situation because you are gonna need to have someone get in the car for you. So you are gonna have to wanna have it at a respected height but you can put it on jack stands. I think that'll make this job a lot easier if you have it on four jack stands, but we got the lift here, so we're gonna use that. For you're gonna wanna come in and you're gonna wanna crack the, uh, the bleeder hose loose. Now, I know I forgot to mention this, but you are gonna want an eight millimeter for that uh, small little bleeder hose, so that way it can drip out. Uh, I got myself, like I said, a bleeder, so that way I can minimize the mess. So, uh, I'm just gonna crack this open. Oh shit, okay, you know what time it is, it's time to get the pee pee blaster. <laughs> Both a little stuck, I'm, um, ah, ah, As you see, now it's draining in there. All right, so this is our old clutch slave, and uh, yeah, it just it doesn't really sound too good. As you see, all the fluid is just old. It's black when it's supposed to be clear. This is kind of rusted. This is our new one. It looks powder coated, black. Um, there's a ooh. There's a lot of good response in there, and uh, this should just be able to bolt right up and have no issue. Stick that metal piston into where it braces. And we'll put these two mounts and bolts up, and then we'll connect the line right after. I believe they need to be torqued down to so around 18 foot pounds of torque, which I relatively really is that much at all so
All right, so now that we filled it up, we're gonna go ahead and bleed the system. So we just flushed the system, meaning we got all the brake fluid out of there. Now we're gonna go fill it up completely and we're gonna go ahead and pump it. So that way we make sure that we got all the air out of the clutch system. Up, push it down, up, push it down. So what I'm gonna do now, I have Ali up there right now uh, who's helping me out pump the clutch. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure that this little bleeder hose is tight. And then I'm gonna ask her to pump it for me. Ali, pump it. She's gonna do that about 10 times just to get some fluid in the system. And then you want to constantly communicate to see uh, how the response from the clutch pedal is. Does it uh, does it feel like there's more pressure in there? Yeah. All right, do it like five more times. Just to make sure we get all the air out. So leave it down. So I'm going to have her leave it down. That way uh, it's pushing all that pressure out. And we're just going to crack this seal loose very lightly not to where it's dripping but to where we can sneak this little hose on and be able to crack it loose and then you should see all this air about to form out which there is there's a lot of bubbles running down which is a good sign And then we're gonna tighten this hose right back up. And we're gonna ask her to do it again. All right, raise it up and do it again. Now that we got all the air out and now that the pressure is back in the clutch pedal, we are able to drive this car safely. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on how to replace a sticky clutch pedal. If you guys want any more informative videos, make sure to put it down in the comment section below. We got more crazy builds, just like this 350Z that we're gonna be focusing on and introducing to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Double R and I'm out.